So the crab dip is done. We're gonna dive in. I like the cheese. Like it's very, it gives it a nice texture. Like I said, it'll be gone in five minutes. So. For the holidays, everybody needs a good poo-poo and that's our appetizers in Hawaii. And so I'm making a good one that's gonna be like your crowd's gonna go gaga for. And that's our crab rangoon dip. So this is something my auntie makes a lot at our family gatherings. And it's just one of those things. It's Chinese food, right? You can get it at Panda Express, the little wonton crab rangoons. But we're gonna make this as a dip. And so it's not gonna actually be folded like a wonton. We're gonna fry our wonton chips and actually bake the dip in the oven, which is gonna be so good. So first for ingredients, this is gonna take you about 10 minutes of prep time and 50 minutes of cook time because we do have a little bit of baking to do. All right, so for ingredients, I have eight ounces of softened cream cheese. Ideally, you don't want to microwave this and just bring it out of the fridge for a couple hours before, so it's the perfect consistency. We've got half a cup of sour cream, one teaspoon of shoyu, two teaspoons of brown sugar. I've got one clove of minced garlic. We've got our imitation crab here. One cup of shredded mozzarella cheese. We've got diced onion, our wonton wrappers that are really easy to find in the grocery store. And then we're just gonna need some oil to fry those wonton wrappers in a little bit. So let's combine everything. And in the meantime, you can preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So we're gonna do cream cheese in the bowl. You're also gonna need a hand mixer. And let's see, it wants us to do one step at a time, but I'm a multitasker, so we're gonna put it all in at the same time. We're gonna do our sour cream here. Our garlic. Our sugar. Our cheese. We are doing one teaspoon of soy sauce. Okay, so let's get this combined. And what's also a fun fact about this recipe, you can make it in advance and just keep it in the fridge until the day that you wanna bake it. So if you're trying to pre-plan a whole menu for Thanksgiving or Christmas, you can definitely do it in advance and just have it ready to go. So we are nice and combined. Now we're gonna add our crab meat. So we need three ounces. If this is 10 and I only need three, I'm just taking about a third. And I don't want it super big chunks like this, so we're just going to chop it up. And that's pretty much it. It goes into the oven. Let's do half of our green onions, just so we have a little bit mixed in. And then once it's done, we're gonna top those as a garnish as well. I'm just doing one of these little easy bake um, dishes. And it's great because it comes with a lid so you can actually just store it in it too. And I need my oil. Okay. And again, let's just put it right in. This is an easy one where you can set it and forget it. But while we are baking this, we are also gonna make our chips next. This goes into the oven. All right, so now our crab dip is in the oven at 350 for 25 minutes. We can fry our wonton wraps to make um, our chips. So we're just gonna do some oil. And we're gonna heat this up. You don't have to use too much, but just enough that it's not gonna be touching the bottom. So we'll wait for this to come to temperature. So to test your oil, one, you can feel it's very, very hot, but if you have a candy thermometer or an oil thermometer, you want it to be 350 degrees. I'm gonna leave it high here until I test, but I just basically ripped off a little piece and it's right over there, but it's starting to fry. It shouldn't sink to the bottom. It starts to rise to the surface. Okay, so we're just doing one layer at a time here. And these quickly cook. So I mean, not even probably a minute on each side. Now see, they're starting to puff up with those bubbles. That's exactly what we want. Not quite, I want it to be slightly brown, but not dark brown. And then I have it ready to go right after is my paper towels with my rack, my wire rack, so that any oil can drip off and it's not gonna get soggy. I'm gonna test these, okay. They're starting to get brown. Again, I don't want them to be too crispy because I do have to do two sides. And if it starts to jump out at you, definitely use a screen. Okay, this guy's done. Okay. 
This is also how you make tortilla chips if anyone wants to know with tortillas. <laughs> Super easy. Okay, and we just switch gears. We go right back in until our oil's nice and hot now. Crab dip is done. And we'll just let it cool off for a second so we can plate it. All right, so our wontons are nice and crispy and cooked. We're just gonna layer them around for serving. Again, don't have to be perfect with these things. Some of them are folded, some of them broke, it's all good. And if you ever have extra wontons, you can do a cinnamon sugar sprinkle. It's really delicious. Then let's plate our dip. Okay, so for this guy, we're just gonna literally scoop it all into the middle here. And this is it. It's beautiful. Oh wait, we can sprinkle with some green onion. We want some garnish. Um, everyone's gonna love it and it's gonna be gone in five minutes. So just be prepared for everyone to eat it up. And then once this cools off, cause I'm not about to burn my mouth, we're gonna try it with some friends. So the crab dip is done. We're gonna dive in and Rose has joined the party. So welcome Rose. Hi. If you don't remember, she's our amazing assistant that helps behind the scenes for everything. So she's the invisible magician that we love. Uh, okay, let's dive in guys and try it out. Yeah. Go for it. Watch you. <laughs> The wonton chips are super crispy, but very light. So it's less thick than a tortilla chip. Ooh. Ooh you can see that, that cheese pull with the mozzarella. Mmm. Good? Me too. So good. Mmm. <laughs> mm. mm. I like the cheese. Like, it's very, it gives it a nice texture. The mozzarella cream cheese is happening. Mm -hmm. It somehow doesn't feel heavy. That's very good. <laughs> like I said, it'll be gone in five minutes. So the group approves. I think your family's gonna approve too. Be sure to catch the next video. We've got a main course coming up and a dessert. We'll see you next week.